Alright, Shalom. Just uh checking and make sure that uh everything's good. Alright, Shalom. Alright. Brakata Yahweh, Shai, Kohala and La Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baracha Wadash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shah is the name of his only begotten son, who the world equally calls Jesus Christ. Baruch HaKwadash means in the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, blessing, salutations to all your brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, all is in charity. And as you see the title of the lesson, man, we're just going to hop right into it. You know, we got a, a couple articles, a couple videos to touch on. So, hey, you know, let's get it through the spirit. So let me just share the screen. And um, first thing we can start with is this video right here. Right, so my man is showing the parallels uh, uh, between how World War One started and how this Third World War is uh, uh, popping off, man. You know, he mentioned how uh, uh, the immigration laws were uh, uh, were uh, being heavily uh, enforced, um, <clears throat> how Europe was divided. You know, America breaking out of that uh, 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 that nuclear treaty with Russia, man. You know, so hey, all these things is popping, man, and it's according to the scripture. You know, so. Without further ado, I usually deal with the, uh, the classic, but um, I guess this regular one to be. Um, what a lesson! This is um, Habakkuk two and verse three. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie." Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And you see it taking place now, man. The vision is speaking. <laughs> As the elder Kazakh say down in Mississippi, man, hey, 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 these prophecies is, is screaming louder than a nigga woman, man. You see? And in the book of Sirach, it speaks about a, a, a nigga woman can, can, can scare away the enemy with her voice. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man. So these prophecies are screaming, man. They're screaming loud. You understand? And it's all according to what, man? 
according to the spirit and power you how about show me our shy you see this is um um the sixth verse i started five is uh I started four, Matthew 24 and four. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am my Shiak and shall deceive many. And, then, and that goes into God saying that they are sent by the Lord as well, man. It's verse six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, man. So this is what we're hearing, man. You see? Wars and rumors of wars. The end is when the destruction comes. The destruction is not yet here, but oh, it is not. You see, so all these things must come to pass first before that destruction comes, man. You see? Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And that's what's coming upon this place, man. As it says in Second Edges, the 15th chapter, the Lord will hold his tongue no more as touching the wickedness of this world. You see? So you see all these things is taking place, man. Hey, 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 the Lord is moving things, man. This vision is speaking. You see? Marie 7 again, for nation shall rise against nation. You know, Russia against America. And not only that, when you go into that word nations in the Greek, it's the uh, uh, Greek word ethnos, which is a uh, ethnicity. You see, that's race wars also, man. And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, and that's what you see taking place. You know, different earthquakes in in, in diverse places. <laughs> Six point eight. I just put earthquakes, recent earthquakes, man. You know, November 12th, November 11th, November 11th, November 10th. You see? You can just keep scrolling. You can just keep scrolling, man. Earthquakes in diverse places. You see? And, and that's what the Lord said, man. Um, in Second Edges as well. This is Second Edges, chapter 9. Verse one, it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. How do we do that? By reading these scriptures, by understanding the signs of the times. As Yahweh Shah said, you can understand uh, 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 the signs of the weather. You can see clouds in the sky in, in, in dark gray, uh, 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 a gloomy day, and you know it's about to rain, man. So how much more when you, hey, you know this destruction is about to come upon this place. You see, people can tell when fall about to come when it's about to be winter. But you can't tell that the destruction is upon this earth. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And this is the Lord visited him, man. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, you see, earthquakes and uproars of the people, man. What's taking place, man? Hey, like it says, matter of fact, we're going to jump back to that. Let's grab this real fast. I believe it's, uh, I believe it's, um, this is Luke 21. And verse 25, it says, and there should be signs in the sun and in the moon. What's that? Solar and lunar eclipses, man. And in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. All these different hurricanes that's coming about, man, that's, that's a part of the seas and the waves roaring, man. The Lord has visited in this place as it is written. Hold on, let's grab that too. Because these, the, 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 this word is speaking, man. Um, Isaiah, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. Yep. This is Isaiah 29 and verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh by Sham Yahusha, Lord of hosts, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. What's going on over there in California? 
California on fire, boy, burning. You see? How many times this year have we heard that? How many times the last couple of years have we heard that uh, 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 California been on fire, man? You see? So this is all uh, the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah moving and shaking, man. And the Lord said he's going to make a quick work of this place. You see? So back into Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Hey, and a part of those signs in the stars is what? Let's look at this right here. Recent uh, so-called UFO sightings, man. So when you go down into it, it says what? Irish authorities investigate UFO sightings by commercial pilots, you know, in Ireland, Ireland. This is a, 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 a day. This is last month, you know. So these these these, these signs is, 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 is ramping up. The closer and closer we get to the end, the more you're going to see uh, 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 these chariots come down and reveal themselves, man. Hey, because that's the Lord uh, uh, sending his angels down to work on the minds of these different world leaders, man. You can read that in the book of Daniel. You can read that in, a, a, um, what is it? Uh, is it uh, 2 Kings 22 or 1 Kings 22, if I'm not mistaken, with a hop, you know? So the Lord is moving these chess pieces, man. Hey, 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 man. And it's beautiful. Back in 2nd Edris 9, verse 3. Therefore, when there, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You see? And that's why the Lord said this. I believe it's, um, let me grab this real fast. I believe it's uh, 46. Let me see. Isaiah 46, I started eight. It says, remember this, remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am the most high and there is none else. I am the power and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. And that's what we're seeing right now taking place. You see? You know, the Lord counsel standing, the Lord doing all his pleasure. All the things that uh, he declared from from the beginning are now taking place. You see, he said declaring the end from the beginning. The destruction of America is, is written in Deuteronomy, man. <laughs> you know, it's written throughout all the scriptures. The fiery, fiery, uh, 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 the fiery flying serpent, man. The destruction that's coming upon this place. You see. So anyway, um, uh, that's that right there, you know, because all these things is coming upon this earth, man. You know, all these things are coming upon the earth. This is how we know we at the end of this uh, wicked ass society. You see, and uh, 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 and what's one of those uh, signs that's coming? You know, what's one of those prophecies that's coming at the end? That's, that that's speaking now. Matter of fact, let's get the prophecy first, and then um. We are uh, 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 going to that uh, video and then a little article. Um, this is Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, which is what? His lifestyle, his way of life, his philosophy, the do as thou wilt uh, uh, mentality that he pushes. Right. And he had uh, uh, this American lifestyle. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beef, the beast should both speak, right? How is it speaking, man? How does the uh, 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 devil promoting uh, 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 that that madness? Having these niggas, you know, these different uh, so-called entertainers, these rappers, these uh, uh, athletes, you know, pr pr promote this wickedness, man. How he's spreading it all all across the world as it is written, you know. He maketh all the nations to drink of the cup, roughly paraphrasing. It says that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Meaning what? You're not following after this lifestyle, man. You know? Pretty soon, if you're not conforming to the way that America is pushes, man, a great persecution is going to come down. You see? An example of not worshiping the image in the beast is what? Qaddafi, they whacked his ass. Why? Because he wasn't going with status quo. 
You see? Verse 16, and he calls with all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. You know, when you go into that mark, is the Greek word uh, uh, karakma, which means a thing inserted. You know, we constantly go into it and we're going to constantly continually go through it over and over again, man. You know? The Greek word karagma, a stamp and imprinted mark, a thing carved sculpture. You see? The mark branded upon horses. So he's going to brand you as cattle. You know? When he implant that uh, 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 that mark, that RFID chip into you, it says as a badge of servitude, you're saying that he, you're his servant, and he's your God. You see, that's why we ought not to take this mark. It's a physical mark that's gonna be that's gonna be implanted into you, man. Ain't no uh, 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 spiritual and all uh, embargo and all that madness that that all these other camps teach, man. This is the actual mark that they're going to put inside your body. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell. See, that's letting you know that it's something physical, man. How can you not buy or sell with spirituality? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm not a Christian, so um, uh, bullshit, man. Some of the actual mark being placed inside you. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you're not going to be able to function within society without having this uh, uh, RFID chip, man. You see? And that's what they're pushing closer to. See? And, and, and let's let's get it. Let's get it. Yep. And see, and, and soon it's going to be mandatory, man. You know, all these jobs are going to require you to have it. So if you're not going to take it, you're not going to be able to work in this society. You see, all these stores is going to become a, a, a cashier list like that one Amazon Go store, if I'm not mistaken, man, to just come in, you know, grab what you want, swipe and then walk out. You see, everything is going to be done upon your hand. And Esau is going to push this uh, 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 as a way of convenience, you know. He's going to push it as uh, 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 as something that's cool to do. He's going to push it as a, a for instance, you know, like um, when I was back in school, you know what I'm saying? When uh, 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 the push starts first came out, man, you had rappers or, or, or I don't need a key to start my car is push to start and all that, you know. They put that vibration out there like what, man? Oh, oh we, 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 you need a push to car, uh, a push to start car. Now all these cars come like that, you know, majority of the new ones, you know? So it's the same thing. It's called gradualism. So it's the same thing uh, 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 Esau is going to push, you know? He's going to have these different rappers, these different entertainers, these different athletes come out and, and push it, you know, as a so-called cool thing to do, you know, to be ahead of the game, ahead of the curve. Uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, but um, this is a uh, 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 independent uh, uh, dot co uh, 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 uk right. It says lifestyle, 
It says injectable microchip able to track levels of alcohol and drugs in body invented by scientists. And this is Esau Edom uh, uh, put in different ways. Oh, see, this is going to be a health benefit. This is going to be able to track this. this is going to help control this, you know? All these different aspects that, uh, uh, that, that he's pushing out to society, man. But we ought not to take this, man, because hey, it speaks about what, you know? See, this, this dude's the devil, man. Four. I know it's in the book of Revelation. It's lucky, bear with me. This is uh, Revelation 16 and 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image, man. You see? Hey, because, because that, that, that technology, man, the spirit so cold to lead into that. This is um health nut news, right? Published November 5th, 2018. It says hundreds of birds dead during 5G experiment in the hog, the ne Netherlands. You see, because Esau Edom, uh, he's pushing toward this 5G network. Why? Because this RFID chip is going to be upon this 5G network, man. You see, and all this radiation and this vibration, this radioactivity, man, is detrimental to the flesh. So imagine having this with inside your, uh, 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 with inside your body, man. That's why it speaks about that grievous sore, man. And man, let's read it. It says about a week ago at the hog, many birds died spontaneously falling dead in the park. You likely haven't heard a lot about this because it seems keeping it quiet was the plan all along. However, when about 150 more suddenly died, bringing the death toll to 297, some started to take notice. And if you are looking around that park, you might have seen what is on the corner of the roof across the street from where they died, a new 5G mask where they had done a test in connection with the Dutch railway station to see how large the range was and whether no harmful equipment would occur on and around the station. You see? And that's why, a lot, and, that, and that's according to prophecy as well, man. And that's why a lot of these animals, birds are dropping out of the skies. A lot of uh, um, uh, uh, whales, dolphins, and, 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 and sea life are beaching themselves, man. It's because of the, uh, uh, the sonar activity Esau is doing, his heart program, uh, uh, this 5G network, all this uh, 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 madness that, he, that he's pushing throughout the earth, man. This is, um, I believe it's Hosea 4. This is Hosea 4 and 3. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish. That's, that's what's taking place now, man. You know? The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Look, look what's taking place across the earth. It says, with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away, man. And that's what you're seeing, man, because this, this, this devil, you know, and his technology, man, which this is a part of his sword as well. It says, um. It says, and harm happened indeed. Immediately after, birds fell dead from the trees, and the nearby ducks that were swimming seemed to react very oddly as well. They were simultaneously putting their heads underwater to escape the radiation, while others flew away, landing on the street or in the canal, man. You see, so this, man, this vibration, this, this radiation, you know? What this what, 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 what this uh, uh, effect it has on the animal life, you know, on the earth itself, you see? And then people are going to put this within their body, man. It says, again, almost at the exact same time that those animals died near the station, Holland Spore was...
tested with a 5G transmitter mask. It says, this is a, a um, what John Coolis, founder of uh, FB.com group, this is what he wrote. If they all got heart failure within healthy body, no signs of any virus, no bacterial infection, healthy blood, no poisons found, et cetera, et cetera. The only reasonable explanation is that it is from the new 5G microwaves having a huge effect of all birds' hearts, man. And this is what Esau Edom is doing. You see? Oh, he also got the technology. Uh, 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 he weaponized this technology. Not only is it for uh, um, your, your phones and your computers, your internet, the RFID chip, the mark of the beast that, he, that he's going to uh, uh, make mandatory, you know, but it's also uh, um, um, military uh, uh, weapons. He also weaponized it, man, to use it against humans, you know, heart attack guns, man. Having you uh, 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 have strokes, you know. Different things that this devil was able to do, man, you know. That's why the Lord said, let's get it. I ain't even going to quote it. You know, and I don't want to make this all drawn, drawn out, but hey, 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 this this vision is speaking, man. As it is written, matter of fact, I'm gonna get that too. This is um, let me get it real fast before I leave my mind. It's Revelation eleven and nine, eighteen. It's Revelation 11 and 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of a in the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that that and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And that's what this devil is doing, man. May Hawabasham Yahusha come speedily and remove this devil out of heaven, man. Meeting out of his rulership, you see, speedily. Because as we can see, this is all ramping up, man. Hey, we pray the Lord do it even faster, man. This is Romans thirteen and eleven. It says in that in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed, man. So all these things are taking place; they're ramping up, you know. So the more we push these lessons, man, the more we pray and cry out to you, how about Sham Yahu Shah Baruch HaHakwadash, you know, the Lord is going to continually speed this thing up more and more and more, man. This devil needs to be put out of rulership, you see? But it's marvelous, though, man, eh, because the vision is speaking. We ended on that, you know? The vision is speaking, man. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. We in that time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You know, so Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. We give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessing, salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth. In sincerity, always in charity, man. Shalom.